Hi all. In this follow-up video, we will describe the final steps needed to migrate a Siebel repository in IP 2017. First, we will import and rename the repository in the target environment. Next, we will synchronize the schema and enable the workspace. Finally, we will start the gateway service and the Siebel server. First, we will import and rename the repository in the target environment. Let's see how it works. If we open the workflow, we can see that it contains two actions. The first one extracts the zip file, which we have copied from the source environment. The second one imports the repository. If we open the report, we can see credentials and the repository name with a flow ID appended. The ID is unique. Once the repository is imported, we must rename the newly created repository from Siebel repository to Siebel repository flow ID. The rename repository action executes the renaming. Now we can move forward to the schema import. First we must unzip the zip file. Remember that we have previously zipped the schema in the source repository. Then we run the same action twice to sync the schema. First we run it without stopping the process in case of an error and then we run the action again and configure it to stop in case any errors arise. In the report the execution command is displayed. The command takes this DDL file as well as some parameters. In the report, we also see all the tables in the repository for which the action is executed. Once all tables have been granted and merged, the results are displayed. In this case, no errors are shown. The second time the action is run, the errors are displayed so that we can fix them and then import them. I'm going to open the process assembly perspective to see the prompt sets of this action. If I scroll down to the tweak section I see how the second action was configured so that the execution stops in case of error. Stop on DDL error is set to no in the first action. And to yes in the second one. Once the schema has been successfully imported, we can move forward. The full publish import action is not required, but you can use it. Now we will enable the workspace in the target environment as we have already imported the repository and the schema. Then we will make the target environment available to start the gateway server. We open the report to see how this was done previously. The service was started and is running. We will do the same with the Siebel server services. We open the workflow to see exactly how this was carried out. First the service was started, the next action checks if the service is available or not. Once this is done, 
we check the Siebel environment to see if it's available. The action tries to ping the Siebel instance. As you can see, the action is trying to log into the system. Once the connection is successful, our deployment is successful as well. With this, the full repository migration is completed.